Hey, Raymond fans, I'm here with Joey Haywood and Nikki Brown from the Weather Girls. Uh, Joey and Nikki, we're here at the Discovery Center. Joey, is this your first time here? My first time here, yes. Nikki, is this your first time here? I'm a repeat offender. How many times have you been here? More than I can count. And uh, what's your favorite permanent exhibit here? Bubble Room. And what are you expecting to see today, Joey? Uh, expecting to see some like you know space stuff, you know, uh, penguins or something like that, and uh, I don't know, just educational stuff for the kids, you know. Well, let's head into the Discovery Center and check it out. Well, hey, Raymond fans, Mavs Gill is here with Haley Thomas, the marketing and new business coordinator for the uh, Discovery Center here in Halifax. I've called the NBL Canada the Arctic League a couple times in our webcasts, and well, we're in the polar regions here, and that is the new display that's going to be here in the Discovery Center opening next week. Tell us a little bit about it. That's right. It's called the Ends of the Earth, from polar bears to penguins, and it will be opening February 15th. We're pretty excited about it because it showcases the North Pole and the South Pole, which are two regions that are ever climate changing on our planet. So big news and exciting upcoming events for the Discovery Center. The last thing we want to see is the rain men get cold when they're out shooting with basketball. And we want them to get pretty hot. Uh, you don't want that in global warming. But tell us about the hot deal that the Discovery Center and the rain men have going right now. That's right. We have a deal going on with the rain men. So $49, you get a day at the Discovery Center with your family. Plus, you get to catch a rain men game. There's no, no wrong with that kind of deal, is there? No wrong. We had Joey hey, with uh, Raymond Gard and Nikki Brown, a uh, weather girl, up and uh, playing around at the Discovery Center earlier today, and they were having a blast. What are some of the outside of the end of the, uh, end of the world, end of the Earth's, not the end of the world, the end of the Earth's, <laughs> fingers crossed, <laughs> pol uh, the polar caps, what are some of the mainstays of the Discovery Center? Right, so we do have the permanent exhibit. So Nikki and Joey were checking out our bubble room, which is always a favorite for our Discovery Center visitors. Also, we have our Lindsay Building Center, which is where all the LIGO building takes place. And I believe Joey even beat Usain Bolt in a race on our racetrack today. So lots of fun here at the Discovery Center. So this is our new penguin game. It's interactive for our newest exhibit, Ends of the Earth, from Polar Bears to Penguins. So both Joey and Nikki are going to have to collect fish as they are the parent penguins for their youngsters. So it's an interactive, fast-paced game, and we'll see how it unfolds here today at the Discovery Center. Five, four, three, two, one, go time. And there we go. Let's see who won. I think it was Joey. It was close. Um, there we go. Yeah. You both won. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Teamwork. Go ahead. Okay, this right here, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a play what Coach Sponge usually does. All right, let's see if I can do it, okay? <laughs> Pass and pick away, move, screen down, get everybody open. Head to the post, give the Tisby right here. Okay, and after that, come back on defense, play defense. <laughs> hey, weather girl Nikki Brown. We've seen you guys flip and dance around uh, on the court, and we've seen you guys pull off some fancy spins. Now you're in the spin chair. Is this going to help you uh, a little bit with the choreography? Uh, probably not. It's probably just going to get me pretty dizzy. Well, let's see you go. I uh, had a great day at the Discovery Center. It's always fun coming back here. I find there's always something for everybody and there's always stuff changing and updating. So it's always exciting when you come back. I really liked that Joey and I got to put our signatures on the wall so we could leave a little piece of the rainman there. And I also really like this. They have a lot of Star Wars stuff in the gift shop and that is just doing it for me. Mm -hmm. You're a big Star Wars geek, aren't you? Uh, just a little bit. Yeah, I had fun. You know, it was really cool, you know, uh, getting to learn a lot about uh, global warming and the polar bears and the penguins, how the global warming is affecting the, uh, the, those animals. And uh, I got to go against Hussein Bolt 
in a, in a race and, uh, you know, walking across a bridge, playing with bubbles and stuff like that, watching di different Lego ex uh, exhibits. And uh, I thought it was really cool. I think it's a really good place for the kids to learn about uh, animals and about the world and, uh, and stuff like that and, and, uh, and about Halifax locally. And uh, it's great. It's a great place for adults and children. So all you kids, come on down and try to challenge Usain Bolt in a race here at the Discovery Center on Barrington Street, and we'll see you in the Halifax Metro Center for Raymond basketball as we wrap up the NBL Canada season.